the second form of winds um, and uh, rainfall that we <coughs> experience is called the western depressions these are the ones that are um, generated or origin from the mediterranean sea and they bring a lot of uh, moisture with them that is coming through the mediterranean sea as well as through the caspian and they have a, have a long journey by the time they enter pakistan they are very heavily laden and the moment they come across these mountains and hit across them they start to rainfall and these are the ones that are coming in the later parts of in in winters and that is where you get the rainfall in the highlands in the winter region so you can look here at the map it is the whole of balochistan region most of the kpk region which uh, experiences then these are the western mountains northwestern mountains um, northern mountains all of these experience these western depressions and very little tail and you can see over here that will be experienced by regions in punjab and specifically lahore very little tail of it so it does not really affect this punjab region generally but it might get a little tail end of these rains advantages of the winter rainfall in the northern pakistan how does it affect is that it fills the reservoirs that have been emptied with uh, uh, it gives more uh, water for the irrigation and hydroelectric power water for hydroelectric power h hep means hydroelectric power and then it gives water for the barani crop regions uh, and it gives for the fruits and lighter rains can soak in and it is a snow for tourism also that is an attraction of these western depressions the problem is that at times the rivers and there's too much of snow that can uh, uh, grow the temperature to an uh, decrease the temperature which can in uh, uh, cause transportational and communication difficulties uh, there are a lot of flooding that can be caused and sliding because of the heavy snow deposits the land sliding can uh, is caused and then farmers transport move a lot that they that is that causes them to have a nomadic lifestyle that they have to keep moving because of the extremity of weather that they experience through because of these uh, winds because not only they're bringing rain they are also bringing the snow next is the convectional currents convectional currents is when the heat it's a, um, it's a very regular process of the rainfall the heat uh, the sun heats up the land the air near the land absorbs by conduction and thus becomes less and that like hot air rises the moisture in the air condenses in the form of cloud and the, uh, the air cools down to a certain level as you can see and then the rainfall occurs the area that provides rainfall to is generally most of the areas leaving out your sorry balochistan region so northern mountains northwestern mountains some parts of peshawar valley and some parts of the southern part southern parts of pakistan and these can happen any time of the year there is no specific time for these uh, rains the relief rainfall relief rainfall is only attributed to wherever there are mountain regions height pe hai kyunki you can see how the um, the convectional it is a um, relief rain is related to the height of the land how higher it is it occurs where the moist unstable air moves up to a mountain or an edge and where it gets chilled this chilling causes heavy condensation and precipitation on the windward side jahan se wind chal rahi hoti hai and the leeward side to receive the sinking rain so where do we get the rain is on top where the where the wind starts to um decrease uh, sorry go down and the wind word is where the wind is coming up and on the top you will feel uh, experience the relief rainfall and it is again on higher mountains uh, regions only you do not experience any kind of relief rainfall in any plain arid lowland any of those regions and it is also on specific areas of the highlands uh, higher altitude regions of pakistan also tropical cyclones again these are a specific region humne pehle bhi maine aapko bataya ki ye aapko you will experience tropical cyclones near the tropical region aur pakistan mein tropical region is around karachi and sindh it is near the tropic of um, cancer so uh, a tropic uh, the cyclone builds up slowly 
it takes 7 to 10 days to build it up and grow to reach to its climax and also come down and this uh, is a uh, form when the average temperature of a, a large water body exceeds around 27 degrees that causes a low pressure over there so uh, the air from the high pressure comes in quickly and this is a cyclone it moves in a circular regions and this can bring rain with it in pakistan cyclones come from the arabian sea and they die out even reaching before the coast again because of ehamara aisa sa hai pakistan so yahan pe cyclone develop ho ke hit karke yu yu hote hote yahan pe die down ho jata hai because again of the land uh, jo hamara geography hai uski wajah se jis tarah land protrude bani hui hai it is does not reach this region jo ke hamara major region hai and this is all india on this side very bad map but yeah what areas that is providing the rainfall is only the Makran coast regions and the Sindh coast. Again, the coastal regions ko aapko ye rainfall milti hai. It does not go reach anywhere. Uh, else we do not experience tropical uh, cyclones in highlands, lowlands or arid. It is only attributed to the uh, tropical region, uh, coastal region. Sorry. A little question about storms and cyclones. What effects do storms have on economy and lives of the people who live in the coastal areas? Very. The winds are very violent. They can blow away houses, tops of the roots. If you have seen in movies, specifically in America, in Florida ke region, mein, bahut zyada hoti. every time they have this hurricane or cyclone, they give a name bhi de dete hai, Katrina, Marina and God knows what not. It kills a lot of people. The blows away the people. The livestock is killed. The crops are ruined. Um, they can cause uh, water uh, shortage as well. They can destroy houses, factories, bridges, and most importantly, ye sara kuch kyun ho jata because the communication services are disrupted. You cannot get medical service appropriately. Electric supplies break ho jati hai, water supplies uh, ho jati hai. And then your another very important part about the coastal climate is the industry of fishing, which is highly affected by the cyclones and the storms because it disrupts the fishing you cannot go out into the sea because of the storms now which area is affected by the tropical cyclones you can see over here this is the tropical cyclone region which is just along the borders over here around the arabian sea and it says synth coastal region and the balochistan coastal region Next we have is the flooding. Uh, floods are excessive water flows which are flowing out of the banks. And Pakistan, mein, the major reason of flow is of this uh, flooding is the monsoon rains, uh, melting of the snow, then the deforest deforestation and also weak embankments which are broken due to uh, flooding season but and they are not built up again that is one of the reasons that multiple reasons ki aapka human reason bhi hai aur aapka natural reason bhi hai natural reason is the melting of the snow and the heavy rainfalls whereas the human race reason is cutting of the trees making weak embankments and not upgrading the embankment system Floods have some advantages and disadvantages. Remember that. So what are the advantages? Floods return the nutrients to its land. Japan is traveling from the northern mountains towards the south. It is carrying a lot of alluvium deposits with it, which it leaves behind on the active floodplains. Again, you need to recall your uh, um, Indus plain. Sorry. You need to include your Indus plain where you um, pura, <clears throat> I'm sorry, active flood plain region hai ke pe it leaves behind the nutrients. It uh, makes fresh streams, it uh, leaves a layer of deposits, it helps to store water in the dams, it helps to raise the water level in the rivers which is which helps in further irrigation and then it also helps in the promoting of the fishing industry in uh, the regions where there is a lot of uh, flooding because it brings it again naturally ponds create kar dete hai, and then it, the alluvium and the deposit that it is bringing along with it is a food for these fishes what are the disadvantages 
very importantly aapka sabse pehle there is a loss of food and a destruction of the crop mud houses can be destroyed not only mud houses regular houses uh, your infrastructure is uh, completely destroyed you get diseases such as the cholera you have the diarrhea diarrhea then you have malaria um all these <clears throat> uh, contaminated waters se jitni bhi aapke diseases develop ho sakti hain that is comes through the floods your roads are blocked your in, uh, transportation and communication is blocked your lifestyle the life uh, stock your cattle is killed how it is killed it is blown away with the river and again they also get diseased and they can uh, die industry co the transportation of the raw material is disrupted because again you cannot reach uh, because of the communication bridges and utility supplies all these things are as a disadvantage for the infrastructure all of these are in Infra structural disadvantages, which are experienced because of the flooding. How can we reduce? Uh, what can be done to reduce the flooding? Now you can plant more trees, uh, channelize the rivers, uh, or so that they can hold more water, or you can say enlarge the banks. जिनको बंद कहते हैं वो बना दिए जाएं. Uh, higher embankments on the sides of the rivers you can make them even higher so they contain the water they do not go up and more and more reservoirs are required uh, to store the water and instead of you uh, you uh, wasting this water into or draining it out into the sea we can use this as storage for other purposes other than um, for maybe hydro uh, different purposes for uh, irrigation agriculture and um, as well as uh, hydroelectric power help also so how we can do is we prevent flooding this is a very typical kind of a question that you can get and this is a, you can say to 4 to 5 marks question uh, for your geography which is my used to reduce flooding um you just need to there's no explanation specifically needed or a paragraph needed you writing all these points will give you appropriate marks so this is like a from the past papers a very common question that 